As we look ahead and start to plan for our recovery, it is critical we don't just maintain companies and jobs that already exist, but that we also encourage the businesses, jobs and technologies of the future. Innovation and entrepreneurship have powered growth in our country for centuries, and it is what will drive our growth as we recover from this crisis. To that end, earlier today, I launched two initiatives to support the most innovative firms in the country, worth £1.25 billion. First, we are launching a new future fund worth £500 million to make sure that high growth companies across the UK can continue to access the investment they need during this crisis. Launching in May, the Future Fund will provide UK-based early stage companies with convertible loans between £125,000 and £5 million. Our Future Fund will match investments made by private investors in early stage businesses on terms that protect the UK taxpayer. Second, alongside the new Future Fund, the Business Secretary, Alok Sharma, has worked closely with Innovate UK, our national innovation agency, to provide £750 million of grant and loan funding for tens of thousands of highly innovative firms in every sector, every region and every nation of the UK. Today, the government's ongoing monitoring and testing programme reports 501,379 tests for coronavirus have now been carried out, including 19,316 tests carried out yesterday. 124,743 people have tested positive, an increase of 4,676 cases since yesterday. 17,971 people are currently in hospital with coronavirus in the UK. And sadly, of those who have been hospitalised, 16,509 have now died, an increase of 449 fatalities since yesterday.